Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and in this one we're going to be talking about everything we know about the Assassin's Creed movie. Now there's quite a bit of this, but I have got a source here that I'll link in the description. But the first thing I need to point out is that Michael Fassbender will lead an A-list cast. Michael Fassbender numbers himself among some of the most in-demand in working actors in Hollywood, so it makes sense that he will be tagged as the lead for Assassin's Creed. Fassbender will be joined by a fellow, fellow A-listers, Jeremy Irons, Marion Cotillard and Brendan Gleeson rounding out a stellar cast for the adaptation. Now if you want to read more the link will, to this thing will be in the description. And the second point is that Justin Kurzel will be directing. Director Justin Kurzel is no stranger to working with Michael Fassbender having teamed up together on December's Macbeth. Kurzel's experience in Hollywood doesn't run much deeper than that but any creative talent with the ability to deliver from a solid film version of, of a difficult play like Macbeth is one that can be trusted. So if you want to read more about that, like I said, link in the description. Now three, Bill Collage and Adam Cooper penned the screenplay. So I honestly don't know what that means, but okay, that's some information. They're not likely to be writers whose names you recognise, but they're the ones who did the, stream, the screenplay. The movie will be set primarily in the 15th century Spain, so sort of around that Armada, Armada times. So just around probably, probably mid 15th century, which is just before Ezio. So that's pretty interesting if you ask me. So it says, early details tell us Assassin's Creed will break from the original iteration of the video game set in 15th century Spain rather than the period set in the Crusades. It's a, not a huge jump as told though, at the end it will still make for an intriguing backdrop for the battle between the Templars and Assassins. <coughs> with unity, no. The draw some form of uh, blah blah blah, you can read that if you want. Five, it will include the Animus setting part of the movie in the modern age. So apparently it's going to be 50 50 split between modern and Animus. I'm not sure how true that will be, but Fassbender's in both the modern day and in history bit, so he's playing both Aguilar and Callum Lynch. I suppose that's just a glitch in the Animus as to why they look the same, or maybe it's just representation and Aguilar actually does look a little bit different or would look a little bit different because, but they use Fassbender's body because you know that, that way they can symbolize it's the same character and give the character who, who was meant to be the lead role the lead role so you know for uninitiated Assassin's Creed isn't simply a story of ancient order of assassins scattered throughout major historical events. Essentially, the main plot of the game is within the game as a direct descendant of one of the assassins is hooked up to a machine in the modern age called the Animus, allowing him to live through his past in the time period he existed in pre previous, like, what, what, this site is weird, um, it's cheat sheet, whatever that means. This could be our first truly great video game, it says here, which I'm not I'm not going to, you know, go into that because that's more speculation than anything. So 7 says here, but I'm going to say it's 6 because, you know, the one before was more speculation than anything, that a cryptic voicemail message surfaced and it, you can listen to a mysterious voicemail message left behind by Michael Fassbender's Callum Lynch stating that the creed of the Brotherhood to Alan Rickin, the shady CEO of Abstergo Industries in the video game, Abstergo is the corporation founded by the sworn enemy of the assassins, the Templars, making it that much more interesting to already see, or rather hear, than butting heads already. So, basically, there's going to be a little bit of that stuff going on, so, I don't know. Yeah, we all, this is going all over, over all the stuff that I've already gone over, but I wanted to make this video to sort of point out all the other things. Just wanted to put that in there right in the middle, because there's no reason. So, listen to that, you have to put in a phone number, I think. So. Also, we got some images a while back, but I made a video about that, so just go onto my channel and find that. So we have more images, and the site has literally got nothing else on it. But So we know Justin Kurzel's directing, and according to the people who have seen the trailer, there are rumours going around that, well, there are rumours going around, and the people who have seen the trailer are all saying something similar, that we will be getting a trailer very very soon and this wasn't on the list but I wanted to point of these things here that um, this movie cheat sheet has put but I wanted to um, talk about it because although we don't know very much about when we're gonna get any information or anything like that or the trailer etc things have been blowing up up over the past few days and one of the things that people are saying is that we might be getting a trailer on the 13th of May which is Friday but I personally don't know, but I think it's going to be quite soon, and 
I wouldn't go pressing the people who, you know, have seen the trailer because, of course, they've been sworn to not talk about it, so they can't actually tell you anything. But if if I don't know, just keep keep watching the space or whatever, and you might see a trailer very soon. And now I'm gonna go sort of onto the speculation that this Assassin's Creed movie might actually be good. People are saying that it looks good and that it will feature a leap of faith, which we know and stuff like that and it does apparently look pretty decent um, according to people who have seen it and people say it looks pretty cool I guess and it's not the first screening as of recent when people saw the trailer and no I wasn't up there sadly yeah but hopefully the movie's good I mean it's pointing in that direction right now it's not it's not pointing in the direction of shit like previous games are so who knows Beyond what I've been speaking here, we know some story details as well, so it'll start off with building up in Michael Band's Fassbender's modern day character, Callum Lynch's life, up until the point where he's institutionalised and then executed for whatever he's done, probably murder, because that's the only crime that he can actually be executed for in the United States, but they could make something up, who knows, but unlikely, however, um, the next... Then what happens is he's not killed by the lethal injection or whatever they actually inject to him, but he wakes up in an abstergo and is Callum Lynch is dead on paper, so nobody's looking for him. So that means that the Templars can then do whatever the fuck they want with him. So then what happens is they'll put him in the Animus and he'll relive the memories of Aguilar. And we'll see, apparently we're going to see some development of Aguilar as well as Callum Lynch, including physical development. I don't... I'm not sure where that came from, but I, I do believe I saw that somewhere. But if I'm wrong, please do say so. However, that's basically all we know on the Assassin's Creed movie, just crammed into one video. It's not a small video, I know, because although we do know quite a bit, we really don't know very much at the same time. So it's quite strange. We feel like we know a lot, but we actually don't when we look back on it. So hopefully when the trailer comes out, it will surprise us. But who knows? I could have put the entire cast list in here, but I feel as if that, that, although we do know that, that isn't quite relevant to the video per se, as we, you know, we know the main lead characters, most of, well, some of the main characters. We don't need to know the names of everyone working on it, because, you know, they're going to credit them eventually, and they're all, hopefully they're going to do a good job. Now, I believe that this movie could actually be good, so comment what you think about it. Will it be good? Will it be bad? And be sure to... Hit me up with any information you stumble across on the Assassin's Creed movie or the Assassin's Creed game that might be coming out in 2017 and be sure to subscribe for all the latest updates on stuff and subscribe for just top notch banter as well. That will be really cool and I'll see you all in the next one guys so thanks for watching guys. See ya.